Countywide spelling bee results are in. Did anyone from CMS win? And did your parents get the time slot for parent teeth for conferences? This and more as Tomahawk's talk starts now. Another week of Tomahawk Talk is upon you, and boy, do we have some information you need to know. I'm Hayden Hernandez. And I'm Peyton Parks. We kick off today's show with Parent Teacher Conferences getting ready to take place next week. That's right, Peyton. Conferences will be held next Wednesday and Thursday here at CMS. They were from 3.30 to 7.30 both nights. But the real question of the day is, did you all let your parents know about the Parent Teacher Conferences? Did they see the sign-up genius that was sent via email to your house? We sure hope, as we would like to see at least 90% participation. Participation. P A R T. Hayden, what are you doing? Spelling participation. Why? It ties us to our next bit of information. Are you talking about the countywide spelling bee? I sure am, Peyton. This past Tuesday, we had 12 students participating in the countrywide spelling bee held at Tonganoxie. Uh, special congrats to sixth grader Rebecca Sedwick and seventh grader Lyra Thompson for advancing to the final rounds. Way to go! Congratulations to all those who are participated. Let's take a quick break and when we return, we will see what is happening around the area, as well as what you can expect from the weather. here or did the groundhog get confused? Whatever the case, I'm here to bring you your five-day forecast. I'm Simone Fries. If you haven't been outside lately, you'll see that the, <laughs> you'll notice that the weather has been out on a virtual roller coaster. Nice one day, then back to normal the next. We're having bouts of rain, snow, ice, and believe it or not, sun and warmth. Today, however, if you step outside, you will find a lot of sun but cold air. We are only looking for a high of 25, but overnight low will be cold as we should bottom out at 13. Saturday will be warmer, but clouds move back into the area. We start to see a high of around 40, and thank goodness no rain or snow to talk about. Sunday will be about the same, high of 40 and low of 29. Monday we're looking at snow showers about 60% chance to be exact, with a high of 37 and a low of 27. Tuesday, more of the same, about 30% chance of snowstorms, high of 37. Now, I don't have this up on screen, but Wednesday, as we are off for parent-teacher conferences, the cold air sticks around with a high of 35 and a low of 26. Enjoy the time off. The weather sure will. I'm Simone Fries, now back to you in the studio. I thought the groundhog predicted an early spring. I read a report that his predictions are usually wrong. Wait, you read something? I read, okay? Leave me alone. Okay, don't be so touchy if you remembered earlier in our show. We talked about parent-teacher conferences. Well, during those conferences, there is a special event taking place here at CMS. That is right, Peyton. The CMS Life Skills Classroom would like you to join them for their first art event, The Nation. As they call themselves, are selling creations, and they, the students have created that the students have created. All proceeds will be divided with half going to sponsor their class trip to school day at the cave in Royal Stadium and the other half going to Bonner Springs Animal Rescue. They'll have a string art painting jewelry and framed photos so join them during the conferences next week. Okay Hayden, let's take a quick break and when we return Cooper will catch us up on sports <laughs> Basketball has been very busy this past week, so let's get to it. 
Last Saturday, the 7th and 8th grade B teams took part in the B team tournament. 7th grade took 4th, while 8th graders took 3rd. On Tuesday, both 7th and 8th grade A and B teams were in action as they took on Lexington Trails. At, at DeSoto, the 7th grade B couldn't muster up a win, but the 7th graders took care of business, beating Lexington Trails 49-27. to At home, the 8th grade B team, powered behind Brendan Graham's 6 points, beat Lexington 24-14. to On the A side, Tavian Cruz pumped in 13, while Cameron Doss added 11 and they dropped Lexington Trails by a score of 36-22. to All four teams were supposed to play yesterday, but due to weather conditions and no school, the games will most likely not be made up. Monday is basketball again, as the Braves will face Turner, 7th grade at home, while 8th grade rides the bus to Turner. That's it for sports this week. I'm Cooper Fish. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Cooper. Okay, Peyton, we're winding down now and need to wrap up this week's show. You're right, Hayden. Don't forget to reserve your yearbook for this school year. Yearbooks can be purchased for $20 via Skyward or by the front doors of the school until parent-teacher conferences after conferences. Prices will go up to $25. And speaking of those conferences, they are held next week, that is Wednesday and Thursday from 3.30 to 7.30. That means no school Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. And no school Monday the, fo the following either, Peyton. What? It's President Monday, February 18th. Boy, a long break now all of us should enjoy. Okay, same as for Payne Parks, I'm Hayden Hernandez. Enjoy the weekend.